right, Gemini, let's get to the nitty gritty because there's going to be a lot of shifts this week for you because there's a lot of stuff that's happening to Mercury. Mercury is changing um, within a day or from now is going from um, the sign of Virgo where it's very stable and solid and pragmatic and detail oriented and scheduled um, to Libra where all of a sudden it casts back into air and it's open minded and philosophic and very diplomatic. So that's a huge change that you're going to experience but there are other aspects to the astrology that I want to get into too because they're very important. So. Gemini, this is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. It is for Gemini Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. Please know that I always create an extended reading that I hope you will join me for. That link is down below in the description box, and I'll also attach it right to the top of the... Um, Okay. Um, I also attach it right to the top. I'll pin it to the top of the comment section. Um, so it's easy for you to find. You also have the choice of joining the Unbound membership, which gives you unlimited access to every extended reading, plus gets you all the channel perks, which I hope you'll consider too. And hey, guys, join me because I have a second YouTube channel called Astrology Motivational. I'm going to attach the link above. And um, you can join me there Monday through Friday. I do a daily tarot card reading live chat. And it'll be really fun. Don't forget to like this video. I do it all the time. I forget to like videos that I love, channels that I'm subscribed to. I just forget to do it. Please be sure to like this video and leave comments below because you know I want to know what you think. Um, so you, Mercury has been under a lot of stress because it has been opposite for Neptune for too long, I feel. Um, which makes decision making really, really complicated because it's almost like you're making decisions based on fantasies and dreams. Um, which means you can be very foggy, clouded, foggy headed, um, not as precise as you want to be. But simultaneously, Mercury was also trying it to Pluto and trying to Mars, which means there's a lot of action and digging really deep down a rabbit hole, maybe for delusional thoughts or incomplete messaging or information. Well, luckily, as Mercury moves into Libra, where it is freed up and liberated and becomes much more diplomatic and open-minded, that connection to Neptune also clears. And now an opposition forms to Jupiter, which means, yes, there's so much expansion. There's so much broadening. You may be able to even like open yourself up to different kinds of partnerships, different partners, people that you would have never had as friends or lovers before. But there will be a lot. There will be numerous. And the challenge will be to center your thoughts and focus on one thing at a time. If you can get that done, you can get anything freaking done this week because most of the week, Mercury still stays trying to Pluto and to Mars, which is exceptional harmonious energy of getting things done, digging deep, and being able to really persevere even through the most difficult times, find some sort of harmony or ability to handle um, anything that comes your way. So yeah, you've got a really powerful freaking week ahead of you, right? I mean, through this weekend, look, okay, so the new moon happens in Virgo and then bam, Mercury goes into, I think Mercury goes into um, Libra the same day as the new moon. So it's almost like your mind opens up and suddenly it's refreshed again around that new moon time. So this would be a really good time for you to make a decision as to what you are gonna focus on and what new start you are going to sort of plant right now because that will really take root. So we have freedom is yours. I don't know what this is, but freedom from what? Maybe freedom from public opinion, freedom from giving a shit what people think about you, freedom, um, freedom in general could be freedom from a situation, some sort of circumstance in your life. Life is speeding up. This is Gemini energy. It's his Aquarius energy. You've got a lot of air energy here. It's almost like you're free to think and express yourself in the way that you want. You've in a, it's almost like... I gotta say this, you've earned your freedom. You are free. You could actually, this could even just represent you. Actually, a statement is made and you know now you are completely and truly free of any kind of chains that bind you or tethers. And remember, horses are domesticated animals. So this card represents the chains not just being in the harness, 
but the chains being in your mind, those things that had restricted you, held you back, and kept you enslaved, now broken so that you can finally, like, like get the fuck out and like like do what you want or say what you want or be who you want um liberated from a situation especially a situation in your mind i could also say this means the truth is out communication comes through there's maybe you finally get a message maybe you're finally free to express yourself you're going to get a message out to somebody let's go deeper in the cards but this is already feeling so freaking good <sighs> gemini what else can Gemini expect this week? Mm, there's a little bit of beauty coming in your life. So we have trust the great mystery. Just jump right in. I feel like in some ways you have felt frightened in a way. A held back like you couldn't do something. But now you know you can and you're just going to jump right in, dive right in immerse yourself in it's almost joy i'll say that like you're floating oh, i'm sorry like you're floating um sweet results await this is hard work yields honey only the hard working bee gets the honey but your hard working bee has um definitely earned the honey six plus five equals eleven that's awakening seven is the number of alchemy the alchemist um, awakening to your own power and your own abilities and uh, like recognizing almost in some ways you can make anything work you know you can take you can take lead and you can turn it into gold that's alchemy you can find a way to manipulate not manipulate in a bad way but create with the situation that is in front of you so you're jumping into something that you take a great deal of joy in and you're also basically finally allowing yourself to feel really good and really free as well as really successful at something so that's really interesting we have in reverse i'm not in reverse upright this is libra energy this is like a past life relationship something that gave you a great deal of joy or created a great deal of joy way 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 past life or when you were a child so far back that it would almost seem like a past life because you don't even recognize who that person is anymore but it would be a long time ago be here now why is be here now showing up in the past because this is something that you this is a joy i can't even fucking believe this gemini this is a joy that you never got to experience this is some kind of pleasure or happiness that you were you never allowed yourself to experience. I don't know if this is trauma. This is something from your past. I don't know what it is, but um, you will know what it is. This is something you never got to experience. So there's some sort of joy that you are recreating here right now, finally getting to emerge yourself in a joy that was always meant to be yours but you either haven't felt since childhood or never got to experience as a child but always dreamed about wished for hoped for and thought was very beautiful and now the sweet results are wait or you can just dive right in to the honey and the sweetness in life um maybe you're getting communications or a truth is out. I feel like it's your truth that's coming out. Finally being able to speak it into existence and, and tell it. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. What is this beautiful thing? Let me let me finish with the base reading first, Gemini. Be here now. Use your mind wisely. All of this is, almost all of this is air energy. So um, this is when pigs fly. You would have never thought that this was fucking possible, but you are absolutely going to get to experience this. Finally, you have been waiting for so long, underlying energy. Maybe you could always feel the vibe in your life. You always dreamt of it. You always wanted it. You always desired it. And now you have figured out how to allow it in your life. And it, it comes from experience. It comes from using your mind wisely, knowing what to put your focus on, what, knowing what not to, having a clear mind and also seeing with your third eye. So seeing outside of your general knowing and tapping into universal knowing. Um, this is a connectivity that is going to bring you so much pleasure, so much happiness, so more joy, so much joy. You have waited so fucking long, not really waited, 
almost like you always knew this existed, but you never got to taste it. Well, you're gonna get the, you're gonna be swimming in honey. You're gonna be swimming in honey. Yes, you are. What is this, God? I would really like to know. Could you please clarify it? What is this that we're talking about? First, what is this sweetness that we're jumping into? Okay, God clearly doesn't want to answer that question. Uh, the sun. Oh, once again, sweetness, romance. What? Yes, because the sun represents romance. It also represents ideology. It also represents success and beauty and also prosperity when it comes to being recognized and being seen and having confidence in yourself and loving yourself. Maybe it is the self-love that you never thought you had and that possessing that is really attracting high quality people into your life, a romance into your life that maybe you could actually believe in and not you know, uh, not be scared of or want to fail or get bored of, uh, or this could just represent not romance, but an idyllic situation and I, an ideal situation. This is prosperity and abundance and success. This could also be dealing with a Leo specifically 11, 11 is, is like all of a sudden awakening, awakening to your true purpose being certain of it, being secure in it, knowing it, there's no doubts. I mean, this shit, this fucking shit, it just, there's absolutely no doubts. The brain fog has completely cleared and you get absolute certainty, absolute certainty, happiness. Thank God. What is the hummingbird? Can you give us a hint into what this past event was? Um, a magician, something you tried to make of yourself, something you tried to create, magician. Um, could be musician, sure. Um, but magician is, uh, okay. Magician is, um, ma magician is the alchemist, which is really interesting because I got that in the number seven. So you have definitely been working on something. I think you have been creating or working on something yourself. Perhaps it's a love spell because there's definitely a connection. There's the two of you being connected coming together. The two of cups is somebody who gets you. They're a close age to you. They are like your friend. Um, uh, maybe you've grown up together. It's like a friend that becomes a lover. The point is, it's a grown ass person. It's a person who is ready and now you're ready, right? It's an adult, committed, happy, joyous, really, truly connected relationship. And you see the lion play out here too. So there's definitely love and romance. There's intensity here. But the three of wands has come out, which means that there was disappointment or there's disappointment in the future or maybe not having to look. It's almost like this could be. You don't have to look any further. You don't have to wonder. It's like this is the person who makes you not have to worry about looking any further anymore. Hold on, let me get something else, pick it up. What do you mean by the three of wands? Yeah, it's like karmic, look no further. Oh, wait, 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 there's a devil here. But that has to do with karma in general, Saturnian energy. I don't know. It's intense. That's what I do now. Hold on. King of Cups is here. This is emotional stability and security, like being secure in how you feel, being okay with one's feelings. This could be also a King of Cups that has something to do with it. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is something you thought would never come, but I'll tell you, you needed it to come. You needed it to come in order to, like, like face yourself, face your demons. This could, um, what is this? Okay, 
I didn't want to like, yeah, I needed, I needed time to focus and I didn't want to waste your time. <laughs> so ultimately the three of wands is saying that there was some sort of fear. There was some sort of fear that you wouldn't be good enough, that you couldn't be good enough. Maybe you, you never got to complete, you never got to complete studies. You didn't, you didn't like it. It could be that you are decided to change what you are focused on. You've decided to change your focus because something wasn't satisfying you or fulfilling you or whatever you didn't get to complete, right? But you always, because maybe you had the fear that you'd never get to complete it or you, you, you always were stuck on it, but you never got to complete it. Well, now you get to complete it. This is complete. Could have something to do with a father figure as well. Right? This is a joy in the past that you didn't get to experience or that you always knew was there, something that gave you joy. It's almost like now it, you never got to really experience that, but you get to experience it now. And it could be you, you're changing what you're interested in. You're changing your whole trajectory of what you even want to do in life, of what you want to study or what you're interested in. Your interests have changed and you have this deep understanding and knowing and connectivity to it because it has to do with like being addicted, like being addicted to something, like feeling like you're stuck, feeling afraid, like you can't change, but you can. And that's where the good karma comes around. You absolutely have a right to change and move forward in the direction that you decide to go. And you do not any longer have to be what anybody else expects you to be, wants you to be, or what you felt you had to be for any reason. I mean, this could be one of the happiest moments of your fucking life. Could have also been if you were sick or there was addictive addiction problems, you now are a, and you missed out on something, you are now able to you are now able to get past it. Sage was here, which is be devoted and committed. You know well enough now. It's almost like you could give advice on some shit. You have the experience now that you never had in the past. Maybe you just weren't good enough in the past, but now all your experience has made you be what you always wanted to be and be able to do what you always wanted to do because you needed, you needed to face your demons in order to finally do it. And that's kind of what we're talking about here in duality, facing the duality with inside yourself, finally being able to find that connectivity within yourself finally being able to find that harmony inside of yourself and that's why you're capable of doing what you were never capable of doing before which was whatever you want to do what was it was it was it music was it art was it writing what was it it was something that you now can finally double down and do i'm telling you this is some good shit let's pull a moon card i'm, I'm not playing around this is kind of cool Moon card for Gemini. What do you want to say to Gemini? Come on. Dude, we got something. I knew. You and your loved ones are safe. New moon in Cancer. What did I say? This might have something to do. This might have something to do. Ooh. This might have something to do with your fourth house energy. Something to do with your family. This is also a sense of finally being able to protect and love your family the way you want to, or it could be starting, starting out a new family or starting your family. You and your loved ones are safe. It's almost like you don't have to worry anymore. Whatever was scaring you, you don't have to worry about it anymore. You have earned the karma beyond them. You have outwitted them. You don't have to worry about that shit anymore. Your hard work is paying off and meditate and contemplate. Do you see this? This is all new moons. And you're about to hit the fourth. You have all new moons, which means you have all new beginnings. Beginnings in your work, beginnings in your belief system, and new beginning in your family. Maybe a new family. That's some crazy shit. I'm going to go to the details. I hope you guys will follow me. Check the links below. Let's go to the extended. See you there.